Hello, good evening. Good evening, Heidi. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Nice to listen to you. Okay. Welcome, Heidi. We have our session number 14. Okay. And I really hope you are ready to learn and practice today. Okay. And how was your day? My teacher. Nice Bye. to hear that. Nice yeah. to hear that. Any celebration for today's date? Uh, the, the Thanksgiving. Yeah. Did you celebrate it? No, teacher. No? no. Okay. <laughs> Nothing special. You? Nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> In my court, yes, teacher. And oh. my goal is, is the, the, how do you say, vestir? Uh, Dress code or vestir is wear. Wear, wear different, different. Ah. Mm. Yes. Okay, interesting. So yes. did, you, did you have anything special to eat? No, teacher. <laughs> I, I eat, uh, Donkey? Oh, donkey. Turkey. A turkey. Yes. It's, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah, because today in the United States is a big celebration. Yes. And uh, and also there, people like like um they have special events like in their homes. They eat turkey. They um, they, there are some promotions as well, and I believe most of the American people have the day off. So today is a holiday, which means they don't work. Like in our case, for example, we have holidays, right, in which we do not work. It's the same in the United States today. Nobody works. Everybody's chilling. I genius. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and well, uh, Heidi, thank you so much for connecting and also sharing about, you know, what you did at work. I know we don't have this tradition officially in our country, but yeah, I would say we have to be thankful at all time, at all moments, right? And yes, that is really, really um, essential. Alex, I, I can see Alex is here. Alex, how are you doing, Alex? Hi, teacher and hi, teacher and class. I, I'm fine. You? I am doing really good. Thanks so much for asking. Anything special you did today due to the celebration? Yeah, in in our country, nothing but uh, in my family in USA, so I celebrated Thanksgiving. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, I'm glad. Yeah, here in our country, we don't have that, that as an official holiday, but in the United States, yes, right, they have it. Uh-huh. Okay, very good. And let me see, I want to share the screen right now. Let me see if I can do it. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, I'm ready. Here we go. How do you say agradecido in English? Um, thankful. Okay. Is there any other way to say agradecido? Any other way? Is that the only one that we have? Thankful? A synonym for thankful is? Do you know this word grateful? You know this one? Uh, this is a synonym, grateful. I'm gonna send it to a chat. That is a synonym for thankful, okay? I want to start with you two. Uh, I want you to complete this following um, sentence, okay? I am thankful for because, okay? So what can you add here to complete this idea? 
Teacher, uh -huh. I am thankful for my life because it's the um, um, because it's the How do you say salud, teacher? Health. 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 Uh -huh. I am thankful for my life because I am healthy. <laughs> okay. Is there what's your what's your um idea, Alex? Okay. Um I'm thank you for my for my for my health, 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 uh -huh. because these years, um, what's it? Super. Overcame. Overcome is the present, but then overcame is the past. Ah, okay. Overcame mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah. Over the overcome is superar, but then if we say su supere. Is overcame. Okay. Is the past. I just send it to you. Overcome and then overcame. So this year I overcame COVID. Or yes. Or I was successfully, you know, that, that what it means. You overcame the past. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, we have to be thankful because we have many reasons to be happy and thankful for right? Since the very first second, we are able to open our eyes and breathe. Guys, this is just a great reason to be thankful for, right? And well, I can see Boris has joined us. Boris, welcome. And I don't know if Boris would like to share, you know, your ideas using this structure, Boris. Hello, Boris. Maybe Boris is nah. Hello. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Can you complete this structure, these ideas? Okay. Uh, I'm mute. Uh, sorry. I am thankful for the job uh -huh. because my job is very important to me and my family to survive in this country. I see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. It is essential right to survive to get some income some money so we can you know plan yes. and pay our bills and all that great thank you so much for sharing well guys the like uh, alex said maybe in our country is not an official day for thanksgiving but in the states it is and i want to start by sharing one phrase welcome bear welcome to the class bear Hello, Bea. Thank you. Bea, do me a favor. I want you to read the next um, phrase, the next text. Okay. Uh, November is the time to be thankful, uh, a time to remember and to embrace. Embrace. Those, embrace uh, to, do, those who enrich or leaves um thankful for a lot of time of things but i am not uh, i must thankful for you thank you so happy much happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving okay mm -hmm. november is a time to be thankful a time to remember and to embrace those who enrich our lives right in our lives guys we have very special people right so be thankful for those who live with you who support you who are always there to give you a hand when you need it okay so happy thanksgiving day 
maybe it's not only November. I mean, maybe then the whole year we have to be thankful, right? But then today is official. It's an official day. Guys, we are going to continue with our class. I just wanted to make this very short um, parenthesis to talk about this special sure. date. Do you have any idea that you want to share? Maybe how you celebrate this or what's your perception about Thanksgiving? Anybody? Agree, disagree with this? What do you think, guys? Uh-huh. Do you agree with this phrase? You don't agree? What's your opinion? Teacher. Uh-huh. In the United States, is the more import today? Um, uh -huh. And que, what, what the Merry Christmas. Then Merry Christmas. Ah, then Christmas. Yeah, I think so. And is tomorrow Black Friday? Eh, eh, yes, tomorrow, but yes, yes, DJ. Mm. Are you guys getting anything special? Hi, teacher. <laughs> no money, no honey. <laughs> <Yes>. No money, <laughs> no honey. <laughs> uh, okay, all uh, right. Yeah, yeah, like you said. And well, thanks so much for sharing, as you said. I didn't know this is, yeah, I think I, I have heard this, that this day is very special more than Christmas in the United States, okay? To say que, in this case, Heidi, you want to say then, because it's a comparison. It's, okay, it's like this this date is more important than then and the Merry Christmas. Then then Christmas. You can say then okay. Christmas on. Yes. Okay. Welcome, Miguel. Welcome to our session. And we are going to move on because hello, Miguel. Hello, teacher. What are you thankful for? Excuse me. What are you thankful for? Gerard, welcome. What are you guys thankful for? Oh. I am Happy, thankful. Oh. Uh -huh. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, it's, it's good. It's what so are you thankful for? Welcome, Milton. Gerard, tell me your opinion. I, don't, I want to hear you. This is something really important. Let me tell you something. I heard and I read this research that says that people who are thankful, who are grateful, have um, higher like level of happiness. So if you are thankful for everything that sure. happens uh, to I, your life. I have a question. Go ahead. The, this, this date is a holiday in the United States or what kind of date is It's a today? holiday, it's a holiday. It's a holiday. Yeah, it's, a, it's an official holiday. Like today, nobody works, nobody go to work. They Ooh. stay home, they chill, they have parties, they eat turkey and blah, blah, blah. Today is a holiday. Like uh, Heidi said, today is even more special than Christmas. Today is a very mm -hmm. important date in the United States. Hopefully, we're going to have an official date, you know, soon in our country. So what are you thankful for? I, I want to hear your ideas. I mean, if you haven't participated, please, we are seven now connected. Use this phrase, use this structure. Mm, I am thankful for my family is because Because I love them and they love me. Uh-huh. Teacher, for me, in my opinion, is uh, this month is um, because in this month and uh, this in this month month uh, is my birthday. Oh, you have two reasons to be thankful for. Okay. Are you turning 15? Yes. 
<laughs> okay. Yes, uh, today. Yeah. But, it's... In, but for uh, about the, okay? What? So is today your birthday? Uh, about the, yes, yes, uh, uh, today. You see. And it's it's uh, a, a very, very, very nice, uh, but uh, uh, about the, the, the topic, uh, they say holiday in our country, uh, I can be in, in August, August vacation uh, for me in, in Salvador. Okay, yes, that is correct. So Milton, uh, maybe our classmates would like to help me because I'm going to sing the birthday song <laughs> for you, uh -huh. okay? So that will be uh, at the count of three. Let's see, open your mics, guys. I want to hear more people singing with me. Only the first lines from Milton, okay? Everybody open your mics. Open your mics. Open them, thank you, Heidi. Miguel, open your mic. Open your mic. Three, two, Boris, Bea, Alex, come on. Three, two, three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, little Milton. Happy birthday to you. Very good. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice. teacher, and then and then is is the sentence is possible. I'm and thank thankful for my birthday in the for I thank you in this month because it's my birthday. Okay. Nice. That's a good point. Thank you so much. Yeah. And listen, we we say happy birthday. We don't say congratulations. Okay. On this, when you have a, when, when somebody's birthday is being celebrated, you say happy birthday. Don't say congratulations. In Spanish, we say felicitaciones, yeah. but then in English, we only say happy birthday. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank so happy you. Happy birthday. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. I really hope you had a great uh, day and also the, everybody, you know. I don't know, treated you nicely and you, you could enjoy of your, of your special day. All right, guys, now we need to move on uh, because we need to study this topic, which we left pending yesterday. Okay, and yesterday we were talking about this topic about if clause plus main uh, clause, which is to talk or to describe imaginary or unreal situations, right? And we were saying that we have if plus simple past plus any model like would, could, or might plus a verb. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure we have these very clear in our minds so we can move on, okay? And following this structure, would you please provide me with any example of, uh, this is the second conditional in English. Okay, let's think about any imaginary situation or unreal. And please open your mic and give me examples, please. Mm -hmm. Examples. Think about it, please. Teacher, uh, example, uh, you size in uh, WhatsApp. What would you do if? You found one hundred dollars and at work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what would you do if you found one hundred dollar bill? Uh huh. What would yes. you do? I, I, I found one hundred dollar. Uh, I would feels very fit in which area I found the money. Uh, next I I could. Then ask the area manager if there is an, any report of flus. Uh, then I I would write for the person or, or the people who lose of the money and 
I grew last uh, with the greenness I achieved. Uh, but he asked, uh, how much money did you lose? Uh, what do you think you lose it? Because it's, the person is really uh, the money. Okay, so you know they are not lying to you, that you are returning the money to the correct person, right? Yeah, I can see your point. Good, good. Now, now guys, look at this, what it says. We usually, as we know, we usually use was with third person. For example, I, I is like, there's a background noise. Well, when I use the verb to be, I was. You were, uh, they were, uh, we were, and so on. But when it comes with the third person, it says, he was, she was, it was. But then in this scenario, we don't use was, we use were, as you can see here. If he were friendly, he, we would be good friends. So it doesn't say if it was friendly, as you can see. This is really important to consider when you are giving example with this structure. We don't use was, we use where on these scenarios. So in order for me to be sure you guys understand, I want everybody to send me one example using their person in one of these constructions, either on the chat or open your mic and say it verbally. One example, each one, two minutes. Okay, let's see. We have if she were careful for a drive, uh, we could learn it. Mm hmm, Alex. If if she were careful for a drive, we could learn it. Hmm. Let's think about what we want to say, Alex. Okay, because the structure is fine, the structure is fine, but then maybe the, uh, the intention or the meaning needs to be double checked. Can you please double check that one? Because it's not only fulfilling with the structure, but also with the meaning. What's your intention? What do you want to say? Mm -hmm. Give me more examples. I'll give you one more minute. Come on. There's one, there, there's one background noise, right? Okay, I muted already. Thank you, Jeter, for, for that. Okay, any example? Come on. Give me more examples. Mm. If, she... if, if, if you have finished the work of science, I would not have come this day. If, if you, I'm sorry? If you have finished the work of science, I would not have come this day. Okay, that's a good one. But then what about if you think about one example using third person? He, she, it. That's, that's the example I want you to construct and give it to me, okay. please. Mm -hmm. Take one more minute, please. Any idea? Any idea? Come on, come on, guys. What's your Teacher, idea? Yes. 
She is a studied. She called past the exam. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one with, with she. But then what about what about using where? Like this example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I want you to use where uh, the verb to be. That's the that's the that's the request. Teacher, go ahead. Is, if she were, if she were study, study more, she would have good opportunity in the life. Ah, I like it. But in this case, where is not necessary in your sentence because where. Remember that where is the verb to be. And if you want to use one verb after where, it has to be in ing. Okay, so in this case, maybe we need to look for uh, where in an adjective. So it means- it's, it's not necessary, teacher. Exactly, not necessary. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Give me more examples. Uh -huh. Yes. In, and then in my song study, Study English, he will have a good opportunity in your life. In his life, yes, in his life. Yes, exactly. Okay, exactly. Life. exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that is correct. I like that example. Then give me one more one more example, please. Guys, we are eight connected. Come on. Okay. Practice. If this is easy for you, still participate. Okay, that enriches the class. Please mute the noise. Okay. Whenever you are not participating, if you can mute uh, the mic, that'll be great. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now let's move on, okay? And uh, since there are no more examples, I want you to speak, that's the idea. Look at this. Uh, well, this is only punctuation. Uh, let's see, uh, Alex, help me with the first bullet here, the use of. The use of a comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. If it were in French, it, comma, uh, I will visit the Eiffel Tower. Very good. If I were in France, I will visit. Exactly. Thank you so much, Alex. As you can see, guys, here we have the comma because we have the if clause at the beginning. Okay. If we switch this clause, the, the clause is switched then uh, we don't need to use a comma. I can say, I will visit the Eiffel Tower if I were in France, right? So no comma is needed. Take a look at this one, where again, it doesn't say was, okay? Because it's this specific contraction. Keep that in mind. If I were, you don't say if I was, because it's imaginary. It's unreal condition. Okay, so what about next one? The next one, let's see. Miguel, help us with the next bullet here, the next part. When the if clause is at the end of the sentence, I will visit the Eiffel Tower if I were in Francia. We don't use commas, right? I will visit the Eiffel Tower if I were in France. As you can see here, no commas in the middle because if is in the middle, the change, uh, the change is not made. I mean, the change is made. We uh, invert, we make um, switch in the two sentences, but the meaning doesn't change, same meaning. And we don't use commas. That is very important when you are writing, you know, uh, maybe speaking, we don't know if you place a comma, but when you are writing, we do care about that comma, okay? Let's move on. Do you have any question about this? Or is it clear about when we are going to use the comma? Yeah, no questions? It's clear, teacher. Clear, all right, let's move on. If you have any question, don't hesitate to, to ask. 
Let's see. Examples. Let me ask one person, maybe Heidi or Gerardo or Boris or Bea. Would you please help me? Reading. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Example. No. Is she had a lot of money? She called by a new apartment. Thank they mm -hmm. they call be happy if they won the lo lottery. If if he were president, he might reduce tax. Oh, genius. <laughs> right. Good. Thank you so much. This one, and this one, and this one, and this. So this is, how do you pronounce this modal verb? Well, the pronunciation is like this. Let me place it right, right here. Good. 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 How do you pronounce this one? Good. Would you don't pronounce the O, you don't pronounce the L. Could, would, could, would. That's how you pronounce it, okay? Keep that in mind. Could, would. And this one is lottery. 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 Yeah. Lottery. 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 And then this is, this is, um, let me see, let me add this final sound blah, 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 right here. Tax, taxes, 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 is, taxes, is, taxes. At the end, we say is, taxes, okay? Um, all right, so let's move on. Let's move on, all right? Any questions, guys, about this? Are we fine with the examples? Okay, let's continue then. Let's continue. How do you pronounce uh, this model? Could. How do you pronounce the other model? Would. We don't pronounce the O. Oh, remember that, please. Uh, let's move on with the next exercises. Let me see. Let me see. Boom, here we go. Now we are going to start talking because that is the idea of today's class. So you guys speak as much as you can. And I got you some questions here for you to practice your English and talk to me and talk to the class. First question. Let's see. M Miguel, read it, please. What good do you do if you saw a burglar in your home? One minute to think about it. One minute. One minute. What is burger? It's a it's a it's a thief. It's a thief like this. Send it to the chat. A person who steals things, who steals, you know, your belongings. That's a burglar. Burglar is a thief. Yep, yep. It's a synonym. Okay, okay. A, a um, burglar breaks into your home. Okay, answers. Raise your hand, please. Seven answers. Seven answers I need because there are seven of you connected. Give me one minute. I'll be right back. One minute, but think about your answer. Thank you for patiently holding. <laughs> Give me your answers. Okay. Start speaking. I can see somebody okay. disconnected. Come on. Okay. Two people disconnected. Come on. Okay. Ah, uh, what uh, are your answers? Okay. Why what would you do if you saw a bull in your house? The first thing 
I would to see if can matter it so I can call the police. Good answer, very good. Second one, please give me your answers. The second, the second answer sería go to the room, go to the room of the office station. Okay, good, good, thank you. That's a, that's a good answer too. Okay, any other opinion, guys? Uh -huh. In my case, sería show, show out. Uh, <laughs> you shout out, okay. Yes, so teacher. I will shout out. I will study shouting. I, I will I will uh, begin to shout. Right. Okay. Anybody else? Any other opinion? Any other? Please. You don't want to participate. Come on. Let me give you another question. I want you to speak. Look at this one. I'm gonna give you more time for this one. Two scenarios. Number one. This time we are going to vote to see who gives the best answer, okay? We are five here plus me, and we're going to start answering to the first question, okay? I'm gonna give you two minutes this time to write your answer, and then we are going to vote for the best answer, okay? So the question is, what would you do? Because if it's you, what would you do? And let me see, let me make that correction. Um, what, what would, what would you do if you were put in charge of the world? So this is you, okay? It's not they, I don't I think I made a mistake there, but then let's, this is the question. What would you do if you were put in charge of the world? Two minutes, okay? Think about it. If you want to combine the two answers, fine. What would you do if you were given superpowers? Okay, maybe you want to combine the two answers and then who gives the best answer uh, is going to win this competition and we are all going to vote. Okay, you got, you got the idea? Yes or not? I'm gonna give you two minutes guys. Write your best answer and then we're going to vote. Two minutes, start writing please. No problem, Alex. We are just answering this two question. If you can combine your answers into one, it'll be great. So write your best answer because this time everybody's going to vote to see what is the best answer. Okay, teacher, what would you do if you were put in charge of the world? Mm -hmm. If they put me in charge of the world, 
I would to be because they were a little reasonable in the action. And the second, what would you do if you were give a superpower? If I had superpower, I would be a saint at Deadpool. <laughs> okay, I would like to. Uh, is it possible you can send your answers on the chat? Because I want to make, I want everybody to vote. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for your answer. Okay, uh, send your answer to the chat. And then this is uh, what I want you guys to do send your answer to the chat, and then you can read it. So we can vote for the best answer. As you, in your case, you are just typing your answer. Take, let's take two more minutes. Jeter, we have your first answer. And what about the other one? And then please, guys, start sending your answers right now, please. Okay, Alex. Okay, good, I have, I have two answers. I, I'm waiting for the other five or six answers more. I think four more because we're seven. Okay, thank you, Boris, for your answer. <laughs> Why Magneto? <laughs> okay. Okay. More answers. I can see I have a couple of answers. I need, I'm waiting for the other ones. I give you one more minute the most, please. Share your ideas. Hey, they put me in a church. Uh -huh. 
Nice. Ok. Okay, time is up. I'm going to give you now one minute to go over the chat and check what answer you like the most, okay? And when you have your best candidate or the best one, the best answer according to your opinion, only write the name of the person on the chat, please. Okay, good. Now read the chat and give me the names. Only the names if you vote for this person. But it says Bea and Gerard, okay? We had two, that means I'm going to be taking note myself, okay? Wells, vote please. Who else wants to vote? Come on, come on, let's hurry up. Give me your opinions. Hello, hello. Yes, give me your opinions. Come on, guys. Read the chat and tell me which is the best answer for these questions, okay? Boris already voted. He said Bea and Gerard. They have one vote each. Okay. Okay, the, the, the superpowers. Yeah, which is the best answer according to your opinion from the ones we have okay. on the chat? Okay, the first the first. Uh, the first question, what would you do if you were put in share of the world? Mm -hmm. If they put me in share of the world, I would do the best because there were a little reason the, in the action. Hmm. Okay, that's your answer. Very good. Okay. And, and what about from all the answers we have on the chat, which one do you like the most? Choose one and tell me the name of the person who provided this answer because I'm going to choose the best one. Hmm? So tell me what is the best answer? I only the ask of uh -huh, according to you, what is the best answer on the chat? The best answer on the chart is no, is no, I think. The, I think the, the, the answer is very, very complicated, but very people, I have opinion for what would you do if you weren't shown the world. Correct, correct, okay. I wanted to, evaluate i wanted to have this activity in which you you guys are going to choose the best comment or the best answer and some of you already provided your answer here on the chat and i wanted you to select or choose the best answer as of now we only have two both we have one point for bea and one point for cheddar being these two the best answers what do you think take a look at the ones we have on the chat and tell me what what do you think? Or what is the best one? Okay. Uh-huh, the best the answer. Best, the best answer. For me, is the very action, I would like the power of one metal. What this one? What's the name? Hey, Boris Rodriguez. Boris. I Boris. Say, well, I like the power of my metal. Okay, Boris has one point. So Bea, one point, Jared, one point, Boris, one point. Who do you vote for? The ones who haven't sure. voted, uh-huh. 
I mean, um, the best synthesis is a, is a rock of Gerardo. If okay. I had a superpower, I would be the same as the pool. I like the pool. <laughs> okay. I, like the pool. I can see Bea one point, Gerard two points, and Boris one point. Anybody else? Okay, because of time, I want to congratulate Gerard because Gerard provided the best answer for this competition. Gerard, round of applause for you. I cannot give you anything physically, <laughs> physically. So only claps for you. So, so your answer was the best one according to your peers. So you got two points for giving the best answer for this activity. Thank you so much for your participation. We need to move on, okay? There are more questions here to participate, okay? Uh, let's see, what about, to know about your personality? What, what would you do, guys, if you saw that the person sitting next to you had a gun in their, in their belt? What would you do? Imagine uh, you, you, you see someone next to you and this person has a gun in, in his or her belt. What would you do? What will you do? One minute. Participate, please. What would you do um, if you saw that the person sitting next to you had a gun in his or her belt? What would you do? One answer at least because of time. Who wants to participate? Oh, I have an answer on the chat. <laughs> I was scared a lot. Okay, thank you. Maybe I would be like very frightened, right? To see, especially if this person is, is you know, pointing at you or shooting or, or threatening you. Yeah, I can see. Let's continue. I don't have much time, but I want you to talk with me this time. What would you do? This is, this is a question I like. What would you do if your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? What would you do? Your answers, please. Open your mic and talk to me. What would you do if uh, your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? What would you do in this case? Your mic, please. I would the truth. I would tell him the truth about that person. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. And maybe he might get upset with you, but then you're being sincere. Okay, I like it. What else? One more opinion. Okay, I can see you don't want to, but uh huh. Be sure. Yes. <laughs> uh, how do you say enamorado? Uh, falling in love. <laughs> Ah, okay. And the and the falling low, no no listen, teacher. I speak, <laughs> I, I speak my partner. Uh -huh. and, and no no matter, no listen, teacher. So when you are falling in low, you don't listen to other people's idea or advice they give you. Okay, maybe. I like oh, that point of view. Oh my opinion is as will be now in more because she does not know how happen in the future. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Okay, good. Let's finish today's class by completing these ideas, okay? If you didn't have this class now, complete the, complete the idea, please. If I didn't have this class now, 
What's your compliment? If I didn't have this class now, what's your compliment? If you drank three cups of coffee, what's your compliment? Complete the idea, please. If you drank three cups of coffee, you know you don't sleep all the night. <laughs> <laughs> you will not sleep. Oh, okay, during the night. Okay, I like it. What about uh, the first one? If I didn't have this class now. If I didn't have this class now, I would uh, do the exercise in the platform. Nice, good, good one, good answer, very good. One more participation. One more participation because time is almost over. If I didn't have this class now, I would be partying, I would be sleeping. I, what would you be doing? Or what would you do if you didn't have classes right now? Okay, for example. Um, so think about it. And guys, it's four minutes, okay? So we can finish this class. I wanna take this four minutes because remember, we are working on last week. Okay, so that means this coming Monday and Tuesday are the last two days. On Tuesday, everybody should be finishing, okay, all these five sections. So make sure you complete what is pending there. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Do you have any question that I can help you with right now? At the moment, no, teacher. No, Gerard, no questions. Miguel, what about At you? The moment, no. As of now, no question. No question, teacher. Hayden, no, no questions. Miguel, I no finally. questions. finally. <laughs> nice. Boris, do you have any questions, Boris? Are you no working? Question, no question. And are you okay with the platform? Are you working? Everything is going well? Yes, I, I finished. Awesome. You finished? Awesome. Yes. What about you, Bea? Any questions? No questions? All right, so if you don't have any questions, you're working fine, just please keep studying this tense, which is for, uh, to this, is, this is to describe unreal scenarios, okay? This is also known as second conditional, okay? Uh, you might know this already, but we have four conditionals in English. We have zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. The one we are studying is the second conditional. That's the one we are studying, okay? So take a look at the structure and make sure you practice it a lot because we're not gonna study this topic anymore, okay? It just is up to you to keep practicing and enhancing your learning. Okay, it is one minute left. Any questions? If there's no questions, guys, we're going to finish the class, okay? I have a question without but, the, 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 this class. Uh, mm -hmm. The next month, uh, we'll uh, model four or um, more yes. classes. Well, uh, I haven't been said anything. I don't know, to be honest with you, but I believe uh, December, I don't think they're gonna have classes, but if they open the course, they will let you know in advance, okay? But I think it's gonna be the last. Don't believe me because I don't have anything, I haven't been said anything, but they always tell you in advance, okay? So you anticipate, all right? But as of now, nothing official, Boris, but thanks so much for asking. If I get to know anything, I will let you guys know, okay? Perfect. All right. Thank so you. thank you so much, guys. Have a good one. Try to sleep. Try to rest. And see you. See you until Monday. All right. Long thank weekend. You, Bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.